In this video, I am going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a complete setup of your Epson XP4100 printer. So this is a wireless printer and this is an all-in-one printer. You can do copy, print and scan with it. Now we can do the Wi-Fi setup that means it works wirelessly. You can use auto two-sided printing with it. It has a rear paper input tray so you have to load the paper at the back of the printer and you can use 2.4 inch LCD screen. Let's start with the unboxing. Take the ink cartridges out so they are usually in the front of this section. You have to pull it a little bit hard. Remove the protective tape, plug in the power cable, so that goes at the back of the printer. Now go to the printer screen and switch it on. So press the power button, select your language and press OK button. Now the next step is to install the setup ink cartridges. So this printer comes with the four setup ink cartridges. Take the ink cartridge out of the plastic packaging. So that is here take it out so if you tear it from one end take it out remove this seal from here this yellow seal now repeat the process for all four ink cartridges now ink cartridges are ready so we have to open the ink chamber lift it from this side that's the ink chamber so it's very easy the chip will face into the front like this so it goes straight in and you just have to press it now the yellow may center you have to press it down only then it will install to close this chamber lift the door up and let it go at this point it will stay lift again little bit and let it go completely now go to your printer screen click on the installed button press ok it will take around six minutes next is to do the print quality adjustment so press ok to continue but if you want you can do it later just to save time i am going to do it later and click on the dismiss button and you will see the main screen of your printer now I'm going to load the paper in the rear paper tray and then we will do the wireless setup paper tray is at the rear so if you look at the rear of the printer you have to slide it out like this lift this section adjust the size load the paper you can just make it proper and just let it go down go to the screen and select the paper so press ok this is a letter size it is a plain paper so that is ok as well plain paper roll up and click on the close so we have done it next is to do the wireless setup of this printer now scroll ahead and go to the settings and press ok go down network settings wi-fi setup wi-fi recommended start setup wi-fi setup wizard select your wi-fi network enter password so press ok now you can use this screen enter Wi-Fi password and click on the start setup Wi-Fi setup is complete printer is connected now click on the dismiss button and press the home button now we can add this printer in any device for wireless printing and scanning for example I am going to use my iPhone so go to the iPhone and open the Epson iPrint app you can download this app from the app store 
here we have to add the printer so select the top line select home button it will display your printer series select it keep using Epson iPrint it will display the estimated level of ink if you go to the home it displays the name of your printer on the top and we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning so this way we can do the complete setup of this printer and we can start using it thanks for watching